good morning everyone uh, in the today's class we will discuss simple vapor compression cycle in the earlier classes we had just a little warm up about before starting this concept right so uh, one request to you guys before starting the lecture please hit the like button share and subscribe the channel okay now put the heading that is simple it is also called as standard of uh, vapor compression cycle right so it is simple vapor compression simple vapor compression cycle so another name see why it is called simple i will uh, once we go ahead in this lecture then i will explain it like right? why it is called simple okay this the other name for this is standard standard vapor compression cycle okay so <clears throat> So first what we will do, we will see how in this diagram looks on TS diagram and PH diagram that thing we will discuss okay and various processes we will discuss. First see let me drop first uh, temperature versus entropy that is TS diagram I will drop first that is this is temperature on x axis and entropy on y axis sorry it's reverse okay our entropy is on x axis and temperature is on y axis so see you know for the you see here the represent which is used uh, right it is a pure substance so uh, for the pure substance you might have studied in your thermodynamics course that how this the curve looks like right this is a what the dome shaped curve looks like this is not that this much broad but I am unable to draw here that's why it looks like that let me if possible I will draw yes like this it will looks like right uh, uh, these lines are not like this curvature this is a straight line but I am not able to draw here okay see uh, the, uh, the the uh, in the compressor okay whatever the uh, this is my point one where the saturated vapor is entered into the compressor and why as soon as it enters into the compressor right then the my curve will be at constant entropy right this will go upside right and after that reaches to it will drop down like this in the condenser right so this is how and this is a throttling process here okay and this is what the evaporator from through the evaporator okay it reaches to its initial stage this is how the cycle completes see the process from three to four i shown it in uh, dotted line because uh, this dotted line indicates the process is irreversible that's why i shown you in this dotted line right the 4 to 1 process is in evaporator right where from the see suppose this is my refrigerator right so in this i will extract i will uh, remove the heat from here so the q in right here the q in will take place and here uh, uh, here in in the condensation process right here i will from the condenser i will take the q out okay i'll reject the heat to the atmosphere right this is how see let me draw it here uh, the layout diagram i will show you here at point one this is a compressor here right the compressor is at point one right from the compressor right this is what the inlet of the compressor at point one okay so then after compressor right it goes to the condenser right this is the condenser okay it enters to the condenser <coughs> at point this is a, the outlet of the compressor is 2 right so that is what the inlet of this is a condenser 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 is nothing but heat exchanger right and this is compressor right compressor and after the condenser moving it 
move goes to the this throttle valve throttle valve is like a capillary tube and this is a point 3 and from the throttle valve it enters right this is how this is the evaporator okay it enters at point 4 that is this is evaporator evaporator this is what how the simple refrigeration cycle vapor compression refrigeration cycle looks like okay on ts diagram now see we will see the processes one by one we understand now the layout of this vapor compression and then in the home refrigerator this is what looks like okay the exactly if you have seen the one video i already uploaded in my home home that okay here see here the q heat is rejected here right in the condenser the coils are there if you watch back side of your refrigerant then there will the coils outside right it will with hot temperature okay and this is a hermetic compressor you can see it's a black color it is a hermetic hermetic compressor uh, here the condenser the q is here the q is rejected right and here in the evaporator q is absorbed in the evaporator q is in means it is absorbed here okay and so here our cooling place where we are keeping the food everything right this is what the refrigerator okay in that compartment it will extract the heat from that and it will keep in cool place right and see uh, this throttle hole i am showing here but the actual throttle hole is like a capillary tube uh, please watch my that lecture i have explained this in detail also okay now we will see after understanding this layout okay we will see one by one there are four processes right four processes which are those four processes see the first one is uh, reversible adiabatic compression it is in compressor right reversible adiabatic reversible adiabatic compression process compression process right this is a isentropic process don and the second is constant pressure heat addition right constant pressure heat addition heat addition right the third is again it is reversible idea with the throttling process right see this is throttling process the third is throttling which is highly irreversible process you know that right irreversible irreversible process okay the fourth one is uh, constant pressure Uh, heat addition process right and the, the fourth is, sorry here the second process is here not heat addition it is a heat rejection here okay let me this is heat rejection okay in see in the condenser the heat is rejected right G E C T I O N. Okay, constant pressure heat rejection, and the last is constant pressure constant pressure heat heat addition. Right, these are the processes which take place inside uh, this vapor compression refrigeration. we need not study that much in detail okay so uh, before going ahead i will show you this is what the ts diagram here i shown right so we will see the ts the other two diagrams that is hs and ps diagrams also we will see how it looks like see in the hs diagram this is the hs enthalpy versus entropy diagram okay to so see the dome shape is little bit like this okay and see uh, the process constant pressure process are lines are like this right this is a diverging lines like this 
so this is from this is uh, from 4 to 1 process then the yes constant isentropic process right again it will divert like this again okay it will be up to here okay and then it is a constant enthalpy throttling is constant enthalpy right so 3 to 4 my 3 to 4 processes here my point 2 okay this is how the this vapor vc system looks in H on hs diagram now we will see it in how it looks like in pi diagram this should know huh? because in the exam they might be out yellow i think i am trying to crystal clear it for you guys but how much like this it will looks like right so this dome shape is little bit like this like this dome shape okay this is how it looks like so see the 3 to 4 this is what the ph okay first you have to draw this 3 to 4 here the h is constant means it will come like this right later it is constant pressure lines are like this then it will go like this and then it will go like this okay this is how this this is my point 3 okay this is point 4 this point is 1 this point is 2 here okay on the phrm it looks like like this right you understood now we will do the analysis of this analysis of vc system vc cycle analysis analysis of vapor compression cycle right we see the cycle see the process 1 to 2 is see it is 1 to 2 is in compressor right this is in the compressor the this is inlet to the compressor right this is process 1 the inlet right and this is the outlet that is this is point 2 right? and this is a compressor right uh, 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression process right it is reversible reversible adiabatic adiabatic compression right reversible adiabatic compression so if i apply a steady flow energy equation that is energy in is equal to energy out okay see the energy in that is q in q in plus w in plus m dot in right so h1 plus which is related that is v1 square by 2 plus z1 gz1 sorry right which is equal to q out q out plus w out plus m out h2 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz2 okay so if you neglect change in kinetic energy change in potential energy right if neglected this neglect then you will get the work in right see in the compressor there is no heat addition right the heat in heat out is there is nothing compressor is giving i we have to give the work to the compressor so the work out is also zero right so the work in i can write per kg okay the work in is equal to that is h2 minus h1 okay this is what the analysis of process on recycle uh, of recycle of process 1 to 2 right and this is kilojoule the unit is kilojoule per kg right where here m dot is m dot is see m dot is refrigeration refrigeration flow rate okay the flow rate okay now we will move to the next process what is the next the analysis of the next process that is 2 to 3 in 2 to 3 what's happening it is a constant pressure heat rejection in the condenser right it is constant pressure heat rejection okay 
ओके कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर हीट रिजेक्शन इन द कंडेंसर सो अगेन हियर आई विल अप्लाई द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन देन आई विल गेट सी हियर आई विल राइट डाउन इट डायरेक्टली प्लीज यू अप्लाई स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन द क्यू आउट ओके व्हिच इज इक्वल टू एच2 माइनस एच3 दिस विल बी द रिजल्ट ओके सो इफ यू अप्लाई द स्टडी फ्लो इक्वेशन देन यू विल गेट दिस नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज Uh, see the condenser. Let me. I have to draw the picture also for the condenser. This is my right inlet uh, two, and this is the exit of this condenser. This three. So, the whatever the difference, right? This is condenser, right? In the condenser. Now the third. That is, uh, which one is third? That is three to four, right? Three to four. You know that this three to four is a throttling process, which is irreversible process, right? It is a irreversible, irreversible throttling process. Throttling process, right? See, in the throttling process, you know, in the throttling process, right? If I And this is my throttle device right the three that is the inlet of condenser right and this is the outlet of this throttle valve right so here in the throttling process right uh, the work heat everything is zero here right so i can write here h2 h3 is equal to h4 okay means there is no change in the enthalpy enthalpy is constant in throttling process right now the fourth is that is 4 to 1 which is constant pressure heat addition constant pressure heat addition here also you have to apply the steady flow you see in the constant pressure means it is a evaporator right it is the inlet of the evaporator that the four point is the inlet of the evaporator right and the one which is the outlet of the evaporator right this is a evaporator okay and i can write this that is q in we are absorbing the heat means we are getting the, we are absorbing the heat here in the evaporator q in which is equal to h1 minus h4 okay this how comes with the with using steady flow energy equation okay guys and this is in kilojoule per kg okay it is okay now see if i write the coefficient of performance right what the cop is for the refrigerator cop is equal to right uh, the refrigeration effect divided by the work input so how i can write the what the refrigeration effect is that is in the evaporator we are getting refrigeration effect that is h form uh, h1 minus h4 right h1 minus h4 And what the work input work input is to the compressor, right? So how much it is? That is, H two minus H one, right? H two minus H one. So I can write this also. That is H one as throttling process H three and H four same. So I can write this H two minus H one like this. Okay, you understood? Okay, guys. Then we'll. Uh, I think. Uh, we'll stop for the today's class. We'll continue the same. That is the simple vapor compression cycle in the next class also. Okay, the same topic we will take. And if you have any doubt, please ask. I will take. Uh, I'll give you a uh, two, three, two to three minutes in this. See when you will understand this process very clearly. You should know. the power plant engineering course you should done it's very well then you can easily do this so i request you guys please watch my all power plant engineering course lectures okay so that uh, you will get actually the feel of enthalpy this see the the feel of the enthalpy will get from the thermodynamics okay there there you have to enthalpy is nothing but just it's a u plus pv okay it's a general term so uh, you, but you should know, know that very properly what the enthalpy is okay okay then guys with this we'll stop for the today's class
please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe my channel okay so the channel will grow and i will get motivated also and i'll try to give you better and better concept day by day okay thanks bye and take care